Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan condemned Turkish President Erdogan's statement on April the 24th. He said describing the Armenian genocide as Armenian gangs and their supporters is not just new high in denialism but justification of nation murder. Above all, doing this on April the 24th is an ultimate insult to the Armenian people and to humanity. Extreme hate speech by Erdogan personally. The world must speak out, Pashinyan said. The International Forum on Women's Entrepreneurship, which Armenia is hosting for the first time, was held Friday in capital city Yerevan. Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan, officials as well as ambassadors of the US, UK and France attended the event. In a speech, Armenian Prime Minister noted in particular that the majority of Armenia's population are women and about half of the economically active population also are women. Pashinyan stated that if we do not promote women's entrepreneurship, economic revolution will hardly succeed in Armenia and he urged women to make their step in economic revolution. Russia's interest in close cooperation with all Eurasian partners on the basis of the unshakable principles of respect for the sovereignty, rights and lawful interests of each and every state, Russian President Vladimir Putin said during the Belt and Road Forum for International Cooperation in Beijing. And it's with those principles that we built the Eurasian Economic Union with our partners Armenia, Belarus, Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan. He added that the Eurasian Economic Union strives for the broadest collaboration with all interests countries and unions, and first of all with China. The deliveries from Russia that should be carried out by the end of the year, during the next year, the arrangements on all of them have been made. Armenian Defense Minister David Tonoyan on Friday told this to reporters. To the remark that the Su-30 fighter jets will be deployed at the Russian military air base in Armenia too, Tonoyan responded, the Russian base will be modernized over time and relevant decisions will be made on the type and quantity of armament. And as to the observation that during his visit to Armenia, the US National Security Advisor John Bolton had remarked that the US can sell arms to Armenia, Tonoyan said he had not received any offer. The Ministry of Defense is exploring the market from the perspectives of quality, type and prices, Donoyan emphasized. <laughs>